You're alive. Ah. Oh, there they are. Over there. <clears throat> Almost forgot them. Almost forgot them. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hello, hello, hello. What's going on today, people? I don't see any Facebook comments yet, but we're on Facebook though. So yep, yeah. I yep. see it. We are on Facebook. What's happening? Just to be a little bit closer. I need my list back. Okay. Now, there you go. You're right in my in my grill now. There we go. You know what I mean? There we go. All right, y'all. I'm mashing buttons and stuff. Go on, so it's August the 1st, 2023 at 4 o'clock Central Time. How's it going? How's it going? Besides, it's hot. We say that every time. So next time, I'm going to say it's cold. <laughs> and y'all are going to think <laughs> I've really lost it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's cold anywhere. <laughs> I don't think so either. So Jason and I are sipping on some iced coffee. And I had these stickers from a long time ago. Yes. And I decided to just, well, mine's crooked. It? Yours is crooked? <laughs> I don't think it is. Look. All right. Maybe it's not. It just looks like it on the screen. Yeah. This is just a clear tumbler, and I put a sticker on it because it's not dishwasher safe. So no, it's not dishwasher safe. It'll. This is iced coffee. This iced. Decaf coffee. Decaf. Decaf. And this is my second go around, and this is getting better at it. So if y'all missed the Saturday Live or you may have missed a post or whatever, decaf coffee is now available. And it can be purchased in whole, bean, or ground on our website, yep. www.coghillfarm.com. And I uh, just wanted to get that out there because some people may have missed the may have missed it. notification. That's right. 103 degrees in Texas. That sounds like here in Clanton, Alabama. It does. Yeah. It's hot. I've been outside moving some materials around on some the tractor. Mm -hmm. And you've been trying to finish up your video because I needed you to. Yeah. I can, only one person can run the tractor at a time. Only one person can edit the video. That's what I was thinking to say. <laughs> a big video coming out tomorrow. I think you guys are going to absolutely love tomorrow's video it's got action it's got drama it's and it's fun it, and may, it's fun. it may be some dancing in it maybe maybe <laughs> maybe not just by one person either Ooh -wee. seven who got 76 it goes by so fast long island virginia it's 80 wow uh seven sixty-eight. oh in my living room oh <laughs> tim Wow. Uh, the other evening, it had came... 59 a, in Scotland. Wow. wow. It came a little shower that afternoon. Yeah. And golly, look at all those 60s. Um, it was 77 here that late that afternoon. Uh -huh. And I was, I was like the Energizer Bunny trying to get everything I could possibly get done that I've been putting off because it's been too hot today. Right, right, right. But it's not 77 anymore. And I don't have, no. I have a feeling that's not going to be back until October. I'll tell you, my light got kicked around. What do I need to do to it? Let me see. Y'all, yeah. Jason is <laughs> a little compulsive about when it comes to cameras, video stuff. Yeah. lights, yeah. and action. That's right. I said that wrong. I said that backwards. Lights, yeah. camera, action. Yeah, he's a little... I do. It's over funny. the top. It's okay though. We all have our quirkies. That's right. I will say this though. This morning, it felt good. It felt good this morning, but we had a ton of cloud cover. And then it was like the and, sun came out. Yeah, probably around ten ish, eleven ish. And it wasn't feeling good. Yeah, anymore. it was gone. It was gone. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Ugh. So Ooh. um, well. We're not alone. No, we're not alone today. We're not alone. We have we have a guest on the on the live. I almost said podcast, but on the live. Uh, she's never been on the live before. She's never been on mm -hmm. the live before. This is her first time. So y'all be 
y'all, she may be a little shy. A little nervous. Yeah. Um, I'll let y'all guess for a few minutes if you can figure out who this guest is. Never been on the live. And they probably don't even know her name. Well, I don't know her name. <laughs> We and we them. already said it's a her. <laughs> we ought to ask them. New dog. New dog. <laughs> new dog. New dog. New dog. I was fast. Y'all, she's sitting right here and you wouldn't even know it, would you? No. And that's how I knew it was okay if I brought her to the live because <laughs> she's as cool as a cucumber. The rest of our <laughs> puppies, dogs, oh. animals are wide open like a peanut hole. They they couldn't be on this. But this one can. She wants to go back to her bed, but yeah, I'm gonna let y'all see her for a minute. Maybe we could adjust that so she could you could see her in my lap. How about that? She said, "Not for long. I gotta go back to my bed." <laughs> so y'all, she is so sweet. She is sweet. So sweet. She's no trouble whatsoever. You can see her little cataracts in her eyes, but she has made herself at home here. At Cog Hill Farm, in the inside of the house, which I said would not happen. <laughs> Name her Scruffy. Name, Name her Scruffy. Scruffy. Okay, so this is what I wanted to talk about. Our two names. Lay down right here, baby. Lay down. Lay down. It's okay. Now. So, we've been calling her DD. We've been calling her DD. DD. It's hard for me to break this habit, but I will do it. I will do it. So, um, I don't really know a lot of choices that we could like put up to, to have a poll. A lot of people are saying bear, 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 bear. Cause they all think she looks like a she bear. She does look like a little bear. She does. Um, but <laughs> Mary Carl thought about it this morning. Well, we also thought about Renee. <laughs> I don't know why, but we just said Renee. I don't want to make any Renee's mad out there, but we said Renee, Dee Dee, Renee, and oh, my buddy um, uh, Joe Joseph, he said Jojo. Jojo. He said um, Hope. I like that too. That's pretty good. Hope. Yep. Okay, so why DD? That's what they want to know. I don't know. It um, just came up. Just DD. I don't know. It was just, <laughs> just hey DD. It just pops in your head, you know. So Mary Carl said this morning. When I found Dee Dee mm -hmm. out in the road, yeah. Mary Carl was at Piper's house yeah. that night yeah. to spend the night. And I've been keeping this quiet this whole time. Yeah. Because I wanted, I just, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen. Well, we didn't want, um, well, yeah, we didn't know what was going to happen. We and we tried to find the owner. Yeah, we tried yeah. to find the owner. And realistically, I wasn't going to keep her. Right. Y'all know I wasn't going to keep her, right? <laughs> For real, we weren't gonna keep her. I wasn't gonna keep yeah. her. I told yeah. Jason when I when when she was in my car that I was going to find a home for her. He asked me what I was gonna do. And I said, find a home for her. And luckily we had the milk room that she could stay in until I found a home for her. Well, I found a home for her and it wasn't too far from my barn. Yeah. But Mary Carl suggested Barbie. <laughs> because the movie came out. The day we found her. The movie came out on that Friday. Barbie. 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 So, I don't know. I don't know what her name will be, but... It's going to be hard to break Dee Dee, but I can call her Barbie. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but y'all, the the other dogs, yeah, they don't mind her. No. She doesn't mind the no, other not dogs. No, not at all. Um, I was advised by the vet, 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 vet to... Start her on senior food, which I did. Yeah. And I've been moistening her food because she's missing her whole top teeth. She has lots of missing teeth. Lots of missing teeth. Um, Y'all, she's so thankful for every meal she gets. She just looks at me like, oh, I love you. I love you. She doesn't mess in the house. She wants to go outside when it's time to go to the bathroom, which I'm thankful for. Um but at one point, she was taken care of. Yeah, that's why we wanted to kind of find the owner. We thought maybe she ran away and, like, traveled 20 miles. And so, but I don't she, know. It's just She crazy. was super skinny. I don't think you could even tell it in the video because she's got so much fur. Yeah. But, y'all, I mean, her little, 
her little ribs and her backbone is just very, very thin. She's very thin. Um, Name her Piper. Huh. Yeah. She's, um, what is that noise? Our dogs? Yeah. Our other dogs? Um, she was infested with fleas. I know that somebody could have could have owned her and maybe she got away and that's why we were looking for an owner. Yeah. But covered in fleas, infested with worms, super mm -hmm. skinny. Mm -hmm. She has to have been gone for a long time. Yeah. From her initial care. Mm -hmm. um, she rides well in the car. Rides well in the car. <laughs> uh, she gets along with cats. As yeah. y'all saw in the video, mm -hmm. she was chasing Bramble's leash around. No, Bramble was chasing her leash around. Well, yeah. Yeah. She wasn't chasing. Bramble no. wasn't on the leash. Well, I'm glad, glad Bramble wasn't on the leash. Me too. <laughs> but um, I do have another appointment to have her some blood work done. Yeah. They, they listened to her heart for a murmur, and they did not hear one. Uh, heart were negative, but the next step is they want to do a, a some blood work to make sure kidney function and her... Her liver functions, you know, okay. Um, I'm not going to do any kind of unnecessary treatment, of course. But she's not spayed either. So we need to do that blood work to determine her health before mm -hmm. she undergoes anesthesia to be spayed. Right. So here she is sitting on the couch. Granny. <laughs> Granny. But y'all, we've called her every name under the sun to try to get a response. Mm -hmm. And nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Yeah. Mary Carl was convinced her name was Princess. And she responds, nothing. Nothing to anything. She has kind of gotten used to Dee Dee, though. If I call her Dee Dee, she turns her head. <laughs> So I think I think Dee Dee's here to stick. I think so too. I think because so I too. don't I've already told the vet her name was Dee Dee. <laughs> And I told them that that's what we were calling her. And they said, that's okay. If it changes, then yeah. you can change it on her record or whatever. Right. But um, y'all, this little, she, she's just sweet as she can be. And as long as I can take care of one more, one more it is. The only thing I that may have happened that sounds kind of logical is, is that she was maybe an older person's dog. Yeah. And then the older person maybe had some health issues or something like that. And a family member may have taken her. She kind of got left behind or something. That, I don't know. I don't know. Because she is so well. She's well behaved. Well behaved. And with she's much negative. more well behaved than Gidget. And I've had Gidget since she was a puppy. And they think they're the same breed. Yeah. They think the vet thinks she's Pomeranian. Um, I don't know. I don't know if she's well behaved. She doesn't bark nearly as much as Kidget does. <laughs> no dogs bark as nearly as Oh, much. hush. <laughs> None. Gidget is, Zero. Gidget is one of a kind. Zero. <clears throat> How is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> one day we'll have to have all the dogs on the live. Oh, my gosh. And y'all will see a mess. I will have to bolt down the cameras and the lights. We have a we have a we have a mess of dogs here at, at Cog Hill in a good way. They each and every one have their own personalities, just as our cats do. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. But my gracious, are they different? Yeah, they are different. Is a mess? Is that five and above? Where does the mess start? Five and above. What do you mean? Number wise, if somebody says they got a mess of dogs. Is that? Oh, we have ten dogs. I know, but where's the where's the mess start? Is it five or do you got five? Is that just a few dogs? Then when you get six, you got a mess of dogs. Our conglomeration <laughs> of dogs is a mess. Okay, <laughs> Gidget barks all the time. Yeah, Arlo's real real laid back. Dixie's kind of she's 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 just an old lady and she's set in her ways. Mm -hmm. Holly is up here. She's on. Wide open. Yeah. And then yeah. we got Dee Dee here, who's just kind of like Dixie, but Dixie's got a weird attitude, weird demeanor. She does have a weird demeanor, and Dixie does not like other animals besides no. dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Dee Dee, on the other hand, she don't care. Yeah. I've yeah. taken Dee Dee out, um, as I mentioned in the video, and she's been around all the animals, and she could care less. Matter of fact, y'all. I was in the area where the aviary is the other day, and Dee Dee was out in the yard. Yeah. 
So I'm filling up waters and such, and Loretta and Gus are on this side. So I go in on the back side where the water hose is. Well, no gate there. So I didn't let Dee Dee in. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, Dee Dee's standing beside me. The holes in the fence are not that big. She can see. She's like a ghost. I know she she may look a lot bigger than what she is. She's like a ghost. She weighs nine pounds, if anybody was wanting to know. Nine pounds. They weighed her at the vet. She weighs nine pounds, but she is slender. She fits through that little hole in the gate and came in there where I was watering the chickens and the ducks, and she had absolutely not a care in the world. That's crazy. That is crazy. Now, the vet never did say how they thought she was. No. They couldn't tell. I kept asking, and I kept asking. And y'all, somebody new would come in in the room, and I would say, well, do you have any idea how old she might be? And that I'd get another, no number. I would get a, just because she's missing teeth, she may have had a hard life, and she may look a little older than what she is. So there was never an answer on an on a number. And I don't even know where to begin to speculate because she has cataracts, okay? So to me... And she walks real slow. Yeah, she looks like her joints don't feel she real does. good. Uh, she has cataracts. She's missing all of her top teeth. But her teeth are white. Mm. So... Who knows? I don't know if there's a certain Who age dogs can get cataracts. Yeah. Because Dixie has cataracts. She does. But and she's Dixie's old. old. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how old she is. But, you know, maybe when they do the blood work, maybe they'll have a little bit more of an answer for me. But they sure wouldn't tell me anything then. It was a big secret. Oh, Dee Dee. Yep. She's just chill, y'all. I mean, <clears throat> it, it's just a... Uh, I've even let her ride up in the car with me, with Mary Carl going somewhere, and she's just... She sits there. Yeah, she's chill. She's happy. She's happy to be she here. She looks out the window. She's just happy rides, to be here. And, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Well, <clears throat> I'll let y'all know when I find out more about Dee Dee or Barbie or Renee or... <laughs> nay, nay. Nay, nay. Nay, nay. <laughs> she could be Bebe's kids. Could be. <laughs> oh, Dee Dee. Mm-hmm. Well, I got... Two announcements, just okay. to make sure. We got a new one that just popped up. So. Yes. All right. Most of y'all know about the meet and greet on September 9th at Petals from the Past in Jemison, Alabama. So we will be there along with a lot. Is it close to 30? It's 32, I think. I can't remember. It is a lot of you other. Can we read them off? No. We okay. ain't got that much time. <laughs> it's a lot of other YouTubers at Petals. And uh, September 9th, it is completely free, but they do wish that you go to the website and register. So I think that's available on Pedals, and I think that's available on Just Dig It Farms website, um, just to try to get a head count so they can be prepared. So that is on September 9th. We, and we need to have enough porta potties. That's the main thing. And we need to have enough food trucks. Yes. Because. I can't cook enough cornbread to satisfy everybody there. No. <laughs> and there's not enough woods around there either to satisfy everybody. That's right. Thing. <laughs> but we also got another little treat. That's right. For the September 9th one. Oh, well, what's that? Is that we are officially bringing the canned ham. That's right. So we're going to set up the canned ham. Y'all know our little old cute little camper. We're going to set it up. We're going to get a tent. And you had the brilliant idea. Of doing the canned ham. She wants to down, don't she? Yeah. See, she needed a little help getting yeah. down. And so, instead of the tent, we're going to have the little camper set up. It's got, we got a old-fashioned awning that goes with it. So, all that's going to be cute. And we just thought it would look better than the, yeah. than the tent. Yeah. That was a great idea. It, it, it was. And we got it okay by Tracy and Pedals. That's and right. So, yep. So, all is well. And, um. I think it'll be good for taking pictures. Yes. And um, maybe we could, you know, get some cute little signs made up or something. And who knows? Who knows? Also. Oh, Diddy found her a bed. Oh, good. Maybe she'll like that. She loves a bed, y'all. She does. Also, we got the official announcement on October the 21st. We're going to be at another meet and greet. And that is at the Sunflower Festival 
brought to you by Black Barn Blossom. And this one is in Vernon, Florida, which is close to Panama City. Yes. Yeah. I just say it's in Panama City because right. I've never heard of Vernon, Florida. But I may just be a little behind. Well, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you're, it's probably a little small country town. Yeah, it probably the, is. The Panama City is what everybody knows. But we will be there as well. And the information for that one is at blackbarnblossom.com. So we will be at two events here. This one coming up fairly quick, another one later this fall. That's right. And the pedals one's completely free. They ask you to register so they can, like we said, get a head count. Right. But the one at Blackborn Blossoms, you'll need to buy tickets for. You need to buy tickets, and it's $12, and I'm sure they got a certain number. Yeah, so, so if you're planning on yeah. going, just know that you got to have a ticket in order to right. get in. Because you'd be highly disappointed if you got there and you didn't have a ticket. Exactly. All right, so got that out of the way, and because if not, I would have forgotten it. And if y'all don't remember me mentioning Black Barn Blossom, one reason I believe it's called Black Barn is because they live in a barn dominium. And it's actually an old barn. It's actually a real legit barn. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And Gina was so nice to converse with me throughout our build mm -hmm. on some of the things they did wrong, some of the things they did right, what we should consider. So they're good, good folks. Her husband has a YouTube channel. You may know Ham Will It Crank. Yep, Hamiltonville Farms. Well, it's not called Will It Crank. No. I call it Will It Crank. You call it Will It Crank. <laughs> it's called Hamiltonville Farms. Yes. Their last name is uh, Hamilton. So. And Mr. Hank. Mr. Hank and Miss Gina. And I be... think they're going to be at Pedals. Are they really? I believe so. Yep. I didn't know that. Yep. I believe they're going to be at Pedals. Huh. Yep. Well, how about that? Mm -hmm. Learn something new every day, That's right? That's right. That's right. How about that? You got me curious. Now I want to look at my mm. phone and I can't. <laughs> I'm almost positive. We, we first met them at the Gulf Coast Homesteaders meetup. And, um, well, it was down around that area, too, around mm -hmm. Pensacola. And, y'all, they're just awesome people. And Gina's a flower farmer. She is a flower farmer. And she's helped me out a lot, um, especially last year. Um this year, we just had too much going on. But she's got it but going on because she's she got is, a retail yes, outfit. That, all you pick flowers, but That's I think right. they're done with that for the year. But yeah, they got it going on over there. Well, this is the Sunflower Festival, so you may can still pick. Vernon is one hour north of Panama City. Ooh, okay. Huh. Well, I'm glad you told me that because I was looking for places to stay in Panama City. <laughs> <laughs> I might. De well, that's closer to us then. Yeah. Hmm. Closer to us. We may just go down that Saturday and then come home. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yep. Yeah. Whatever works. That's right. Okay. I'm what all sidetracked now. Um, I got you messed up. You do. Something I wanted to tell you guys is about my friend, Lara. Laura. Laura's at Simply Making It, and she has a lot of her lip shimmers yes. back in stock. Y'all heard that? This is, it been in my fanny pack, but this is Laura's lip shimmer. And she has it in several flavors, like cherry, raspberry. It smells so good. Smell it. Watermelon, mm. um, different. But she's been out of stock on these, but she's got them back in stock. So y'all check out Laura Simply Making It if, if you, you missed are interested. It, yep. If you missed it, then she's got them back in stock. Who knows for how long? But Who knows for how long? But Laura, yep. she doesn't need to sit down. So y'all keep her busy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I said the, uh, it's been a minute. It's about a month ago, I guess, or so. And you guys know that me and Mary Carl like to watch we, we, that's her daddy daughter thing is, is we watch TV in the evening time and we watch all kinds of things. We will we, we'll watch comedies. We'll watch a scary movie. We'll watch um, learning documentaries. Who knows what we'll watch? So I've been putting it off because I didn't think she would like this movie. And I mentioned it to you guys and you're like, y'all got to watch it. Y'all got to watch it. And so we kind of, kind of have ran out of stuff to watch. And I said, you know what? We're going to watch it. And so we watched Smokey and the Bandit. And y'all, Mary Carl laughed until her face was red. 
I knew what they were watching because I could hear it downstairs. <laughs> but it it just floored me how she was laughing out loud. Billy laughing. She was laughing. So she enjoyed it. Billy laughing. And you know what? I it's, That was growing up. That was one of my favorite movies as a kid. That movie was in 1978. And and that's where Bandit, our yes, that's guardian dog Bandit, came from. That's where he got it from. Well, so I have, I, I can't remember the last time I've seen the movie. It has been so long ago since I've seen the movie. Probably thirty years or more. And number one, I forgot how funny the movie was. But number two, I forgot how gorgeous Sally Fields was. And how good looking Burt Reynolds were. <laughs> I just it just it just floored me. Sally Fields is was the cutest, cutest woman or beautiful woman in that movie. And I just totally forgot. And I forgot how handsome Burt Reynolds Burt Reynolds were. You know what else that I noticed is that Burt Reynolds, you know, back then was the cat's pajamas. But he wasn't now. It seems like all the men now that are, you know, big movie stars. It just seems like they're just real ripped and muscular. And Burt Reynolds was just a normal, normal sized guy. Well, I told you before that David Hasselhoff was my. And he was. He was. Yeah. Yeah. But MacGyver wasn't. Yeah. MacGyver was just a regular. He was just a regular old guy. Yeah. Times have changed. Yeah. 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 When you're growing up, you have those little you know, crushes on movie stars yeah. or think somebody's attractive or, you know, and that was the two that I chose. It just, just, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting that, um, and then Jerry Reed, who is the, the truck driver in the movie, he had a, uh, a vest on and man, as soon as I saw it, I said, man, I wish I could find that vest. I would wear the stew out of it. It's, 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 you had one? No, I didn't, oh. but now I would. It's like a puffy vest and oh, had an yeah. American flag song patch on now. it and all that. Yeah. I just thought, man, yeah. that that would have been a that. Well, that, that kind of stuff is back. I know yeah. it is exactly back, and they all had bell bottoms on. Even Burt Reynolds. How about that? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh man, but we had a good time watching the movie. Really good time watching the movie. Well, now. So. You opened up and you were like, oh, now that, now that I know she likes that, we can, we watch, can watch all kinds yes. of things that I wasn't sure if yep. she would like or not. That's right. So the yep. TV theater has begun. That's right. We can go back in time and watch some of these old, old movies. And Yeah, and she's so kind like, of an old soul. So I she, think so, too. She appreciates the, the old yep. TV just as much as you right. do. But I don't know. I just thought I wanted to mention that, that I talked about it and I decided, I think it was a couple of weeks ago and not a couple of weeks ago, but a couple of days ago. And uh, we watched it and how much she enjoyed it. Yeah. I just thought it was funny. She loved I saw it. some people <laughs> saying, how do I order your coffee? How do I order your coffee? Oh, okay. So coffee is yes. on our website, www.cogkillfarm.com. Dot com mm -hmm. and we want that to be you guys go to for anything you want to know if you want to order a cog hill shirt mm -hmm. you go to <clears throat> www.coghillfarm.com if you want to know about peaches then you go to coghillfarm.com if you want to yeah so forth so yeah. on. it's all there it's all on our website all, all you got to remember is cog hill farm and the www that goes in front of it that's it everything's that's it. there everything's there <clears throat> There is nothing that you links to Hoss, links yep. to Harvest Right, everything you want. Everything's there. Grower Solution, yep. or Greenhouse, uh, Green Stalk Planner, it's on the website. And it didn't just get there. No. Jacqueline did it. Jacqueline, my right hand woman. Yeah, it's time. It's time. Or our we, right hand woman. Well, yeah, she ain't just yours. She's <laughs> fine too, because I, I reach out to her multiple times during the day to try to, you know, get some insight yeah. because she sure we sure do appreciate her and we lean on her a we, lot and she yep. probably mm, gets tired of us but yep. she doesn't tell us so we're we thankful we're for thankful that too. for that too she don't tell <laughs> us oh i tell you though 
people are talking about smoking the band uh-huh. and stuff. And Cannonball Run is one that I do want to I do want to watch. And Tom Selleck also was a handsome man. Yes. Um, not my kind, but yeah. If if I ever had the opportunity, and it would have to be the perfect opportunity, the perfect one. Okay. If it if it arose and all the planets line Spit perfectly. it out because I want to know what you're talking perfect. about. I would buy me a Trans Am just oh, like Smokey and the Bandit. I would. I would buy it. Oh, my gracious. That we better be- build another barn <laughs> then because that one's going to be filled full of tractors. <laughs> oh, I love that car. I, I, oh, I love that car. That is a beautiful car. And I like old um, Ford Broncos yeah. and yeah. Uh, old Toyota Land Cruisers. Land Cruisers. Mm-hmm. And did I ever tell y'all about my Land Cruiser? I don't know if we have or not. Y'all. We I had, had talked about the Land Cruiser and we talked about Earl. We had we had a nineteen eighty nine, which is not that old, mm-hmm. but it looked old. Nineteen eighty nine Toyota Land Cruiser that a gentleman who was a one owner traded into the dealership where Dyson worked. Yes. And immediately, I went to take Jason some lunch yeah, or something, it. and I saw it out in the parking lot, and I was like, I got to have it. I got to have it. Mm-hmm. And, y'all, it literally got like four miles to the gallon. It Seriously, it was seven. Absolutely seven miles to the gallon. That thing was made for rock climbing. It was like a tank. It was like a tank. It was geared so low. Oh my gosh. Um, it could climb a mountain. We never climbed a mountain. No. Yet. But I had it up until um I was pregnant with Mary Carl. Yeah. And that was reason, one reason we got rid of it. I, I saw a, a OBGYN in Birmingham. So we were making lots of trips back and forth yep. from here to Birmingham. And yep. the seven miles to gallon just wasn't cutting it. And so we ended up selling the Land Cruiser on eBay. Yep. And buying a little Honda Civic that got like 45, 50 miles to the gallon so we could get back and forth to Birmingham. But man, I'm, I'm not sad that I sold it, but I loved it. Yeah. I loved yeah. it. Yeah, I liked it too. And I had stickers all over the back windows. Mm-hmm. It was just, you knew it was Brooke when you saw that old Land Cruiser. I liked it too. And it had some issues every now and then. It wouldn't crank. I remember it wouldn't crank on you one time or yeah. several times. But it was like a ground or something yeah. that, that was hard to find. Yep. Yeah. But y'all, I love that car. And even me being pregnant with me, Carl, we had our goat, um, Earl, mm-hmm. who was a Nubian. And he had, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? He had stones, yeah. ladder stones. Yeah. And we drove in that Land Cruiser to Tuskegee, which is a long way from Selma. Well, well, we were in Marion. Yeah, we were in Marion at the time. So that was an hour. Then we drove from Marion to Tuskegee. Yeah. So that was probably another two and a half, maybe longer. And I was pregnant with Mary Carl, and I sat in the back seat with Earl. Yep. And he had to be put down. He did. He didn't make it. It was a bad, bad, bad ride. And the air conditioning, that thing was... It didn't work. And it, it was hot. It You might as well say it didn't work. It but it wasn't great. It was like a fan. Oh, it was terrible. air conditioning. It was terrible. Whew. So, it was um, it was a bad ride, but we were happy we had it so we could get him there. Yep. Because he was right. a big boy. He was a big boy. He, he wasn't was quite big as big boy. as Joe, but... He, he was, was um, a banded weather. Yeah. Which, well... He was a banded buck. Yeah. Which means instead of cutting to to for him to be neutered, so to speak. They banded it. They banded yeah. him. And a lot of times, even cut goats can end up with urinary calcifications, but banding has a higher tendency to do so. That's what we've been told. And what it is is the urethra in a male is curved. Mm-hmm. And so the calcifications tend to get blocked right there in that curve. Kind of like a kidney stone. And they can't pass it. Yep. And it it just, in turn, blocks their kidneys so they can't urinate. Right. And it will kill them. Now, I have seen Dr. Paul 
And I said many a time mm-hmm. since that's happened to Earl, if I knew now what, if I knew then what I knew now, I would have done a little operation myself and tried to save him because the time that we spent going to Marion and yeah. the time we spent going to Tuskegee was not on his side because no. his kidneys were stopped functioning during that well, time. And his bladder was bad. bad yes. Up. His yeah. bladder ended up rupturing. Right. right. <clears throat> but if I, if I knew then I would take a chance and, and make a little procedure myself, mm-hmm. but I'm always, um, try to make sure that our, our male goats have ammonium chloride. Is that what it is? Yes. I always in, get confused. On in that. their feed, which helps with the breakdown of the urinary calcification. Yep. And most of the time, and most goat feeds is in there. It is. Um, but, but you can You know, look we've for looked it. at some before well, yeah, that hasn't had it in it. That's right. If you look on the back, it's, it, it'll say it. Um, ammonium chloride. And usually it'll say it contains it. You yeah. know, it'll make an extra point. Um, but sometimes it won't either. So you have to, um, you have to kind of watch it. If you, if your food doesn't, you can add it. Yeah, extra. you can add it as a supplement. But uh, the the boys we feed now, we feed is, them is, buck food. Yeah, it is, and it, I think it probably has even more in it. Than yeah, it's like an extra dose. Yeah, um, it's very important though for a weathered goat to yep. have that ingredient. Very important. Um, I, I just I don't know where where we would have done if Earl had <laughs> lived on. Who knows. But he, I think after he passed, kind of that, that, um, I just lost goat interest for a little while because I was pregnant yeah, and because my, I was so sad that we lost him. Well, and we, we did have other, other ones, yeah. but they were, um, not as near and dear to my heart because he was a bottle baby. Yeah. And we bottle fed him. And he was like, and he was, a, he was like DD. Yeah. He went from bad, bad, bad. Yeah. He was rough. To the most beautiful goat. Yep. To me, he was the most beautiful Nubian I've ever seen. I've never seen another one that looks like him. Not solid red and white like he was. He was pretty. He was beautiful. He was really pretty. So he was really kind of like pretty. that ugly duckling that turned beautiful. Exactly and what he was like. I have a feeling that that little dog that was laying here a little while you think ago. That's what she's going to do. I think she's going to be the most beautiful little dog. And I don't care. I don't care if she's if she stays right where she looks yeah. right now. But I think her health is going to increase to where she, you won't believe it. Mm. I'm giving her omega three supplements to help her skin yeah. and her hair yeah. because she's real wiry feeling. Yeah. And um, who is it? Holly. It's mm. Holly. Holly mm. is downstairs and she's lit doing a little whimper. Oh, okay. So anyway, um, 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 oh, on the story of animals. So our local shelter in Chilton County has had a big time event. And I don't know any details, but I do know that the director quit Mm -hmm. and therefore most of the employees quit. And there are approximately, from what I read, 150 animals that need placement Mm -hmm. and they need, they've are obviously already reached out to in-state rescues in Alabama. So they're asking for help from people that are out of state. Right. To, they could transport, they said, right. But they don't have any room anywhere for these animals to go. So if you guys are, um, somebody may work for a state animal shelter. A water. It's gotta be a mere call. If you guys are know of anybody that could possibly help, um, they do have a Facebook page. It's Chilton County Humane Society, and um, or send me an email and title it um, uh, shelter. Yeah, title it shelter, but only if you have a solution. Right. Because I don't mean to sound ugly, but I don't have time to to try to place dogs that we don't have a solution for. Does that and, make sense? Yeah. And, you, and all you're going to do is just get pass it along. Just pass, pass along. information. Over so to only you. if so, you have yeah. a source, I can't reach out to somebody is what right, I'm saying. Right. I, I don't have the time to do that, unfortunately, but if you were to be in a situation where you know that a rescue could take them or you can them, just give them the information. Yes. The I can pass the information yeah. along if you can't find it yourself. Right. right. 
I know I made that too long, but I didn't know how to say it tactfully because I don't have time to do it. Oh, I wish I did. Yeah. I mean, <sighs> okay. So we've been working on fence still. We've been working on fence. Um, you know, surprisingly, I never got super sore. I got tight about the third day and then Peaches let us, let us have the day off. And then I was... I just knew, I just knew my lower back was going to be hurting, my shoulders were going to be hurting, my arms are going to be hurting, but it never, it never did. I was no, no more sore than if I were to have done something strenuous that day. You know, when I go to put my shoes on or tie my shoes the yeah. next day after I've been real active, right? Then I feel it a little tightness, but nothing that. Is out of the ordinary. I never felt any tightness after that um, initial day. Yeah, huh? Yeah, after that. I mean, after I and I can't. I don't know why. I really don't. I'm totally shocked. Well, I feel like that one day that we we had such a long day yeah. was the only time that I could say. It was wow. I was I was Exhausted. past gone. Yeah. That's the only time. Yeah. So I I don't I did some math. Mm hmm And I figured out that the eight days that we set posts. Yeah. We set fifty posts a day yeah. for eight days straight. Uh-huh. Period. Uh-huh. End of sentence. Fifty posts in eight days. Fifty posts a day for eight days. Okay. Four hundred and fifty posts. Seems like it's more than that. I guess. Fifty some posts days, is a lot of posts. It is a lot of posts. Yeah, it is a lot of posts. It 50 took us, posts is a lot of posts because we had to pull that string. We had to move those stakes. We had to get it all lined that's up. That's what took so long. And, that, and in the videos, you know, it looks like everything goes by fast. But we were Ooh. starting in the morning and we always, no matter what, this was just so funny. No matter what, every time we finished, it was either 3 or 3.30 and it never was planned. That's right. Never. We say, okay, today we're going to do Nuggets area. Mm -hmm. And so we drive all the posts, get done. Look, it's 3 o'clock. I will tell y'all that it's crazy. There were a couple of times when we superseded our goal. We would have in mind what we were going to get done that day, yeah. and we would be like, "Yeah, we can keep going." Yeah, and we would do, you know, we keep going. Yeah, but for the most part, what we had set at the beginning of the day is what we went with most of the time. Yeah, except for that day. Now except we were blowing and going that day. We were, yeah. That day I didn't feel good either. No, you didn't. But, but um, aren't you glad that you? Went ahead and did I it. I am because the next day you weren't able to do well, anything. I'll tell you what. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I did. All right, so my allergies have just been absolutely just driving me insane. Driving me insane. And not feeling good by by lunchtime. I just was just didn't feel good and, and just and I'm not I really don't have allergies. I don't know what it is that's caused this, but and I've had a spell before in the past, and but it was a long time ago. And that's when the doctor gave me allergy medicine. And after swapping it a few times, nothing ever worked. Nothing ever worked. So this time I, I was tired. I couldn't go to sleep. And I said, I'm going to take me some Michael. I'm just going to take me some Michael. It's got an antihistamine in it. Um, it's got, you know, a fever reducer. Because I just, I just felt like, blah. I thought I had something much more mild yeah. than Michael. Yeah. Until I went to go get it, and I didn't have it. You didn't have it. So that's where the night will came. So in. I said, "I'm. It's bedtime. I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna take it, and maybe I can get some good sleep, and it'll clear me up in the story." And it did. It did. It did just that. Cleared me up. Slept really good. But that next day, I had that night will hangover, y'all, and that it that and antihistamine, and that's what does it to me. It makes me feel like my head is in the biggest fog. Um, I can't focus whatsoever. And just, it's just, it's just, I can't explain it. A lot of people uh, makes them feel that way too, but it was just terrible. Well, and you, I weren't, just, you weren't anticipating. I wasn't anticipating it lasting all day. I took that at night, say probably around nine o'clock, mm -hmm. 10, 10 o'clock. Yeah, I slept, get up at six, and 
you would, I would assume it would have worn off by then. But, but it, was no. the, it was the next day before you ever felt like the medicine was out of your system. Yes, it was the very next day. So it was like 24 plus hours. And re realistically, <clears throat> you know, something like Benadryl or something would have would have been wonderful. But Jason can't take that. It mm, does Benadryl just the does opposite. opposite. Yeah, it wires me up. It yeah. make, and, and it does that to Mary Carl, too. Yeah. Yep. So I have a feeling that daddy and daughter are built kind of the same because it puts me out. <laughs> but he can't take it. Oh, if, he, if you could have, that yep. would have been ideal. Yep. But, you know, with that not being able to take that, you didn't have any choice too yep. much. Oh, goodness. Mm. So I got the day off, too. You did get the day off. I'm trying to think what I did that day. I don't know. I edited videos. I edited your video. I think it rained. And my video. Didn't it rain? And it rained. Um, so, I don't know. Anyways, but after that, though, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much, it almost knocked it out, which is weird. But I still hear you a little a bit. A little nasal, bit. A little bit. But, but not nothing like it was. It's not like it was. Yeah. But I don't, I mean, we still don't know. You know, I started thinking, I was like, is it the dog? Is it the new dog? Yep. I'm going to call her Dee Dee because yep. that's what I've been calling yep. her. Yep. My mama told me that her friend had a dog in college and she brought the dog home off the street, kind of like I did. Yeah. And my mama's never been allergic to any dog whatsoever. But this little dog made her, gave her fits. She's back. Hey, Dee Dee. Dee Dee came back upstairs. But this was before Dee Dee came. Yes, it yeah. was. Yeah. I mean, I was just trying to narrow it down yeah. as to what it could have I been. I know. But um, Mama sure said <laughs> that her friend had to rehome the dog because yep. she couldn't live with it. And I know allergies can come on at any time. It's just a, a, a reaction to your body. You, Somebody just said, name her Nellie, and I like that. Nellie? Nellie. But DD's Dee Dee's Dee stuck, isn't it? Dee Dee is stuck. <laughs> if I if I go to the vet and I tell them I'm gonna name her Nellie, they're probably gonna say Dee Dee Nellie. Like Dee Dee she's Dee got Dee. two names. Dee Dee Nellie. She's gonna lay on that bed. Yeah. All she wants is somewhere soft to lay, y'all. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. But I will say this. We got a lot of feedback for my allergies. Yes. And a lot of things that people have the same reaction than I do and certain things have helped them. And I may try some of that stuff. Yeah. 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 A lot of it, um, natural, you know, one person was apple cider vinegar that they struggled and struggled and struggled with allergies. Our friend, Dave, yeah. Dave and Julie. So Dave drinks one of those Bragg's apple cider vinegar yeah. drinks yeah. every day. Yeah. He used to just take the plane right. with the mother. But he drinks one of those drinks every day, and he swears by it. Well, this person, that was one thing. Another one was, um, I think it was like a dry beet peel. Uh-huh. That was one. I had several, and I, I saved them. Um, but I, we got apple cider vinegar here, so yeah, I may did. start that. So With the mother. With the mother. That's what they told me. Be sure it's with the mother. And um, Dave just takes, you know, used to. Yeah. He would take a cat bowl every morning. Yep. And, and they come said here, baby. That it, come it actually cleared their allergies up. Come so here. I'm going to try that come too. On. See how that works. Come on. So video coming out tomorrow. Uh, Y'all be sure to watch it because if Jason says it's entertaining, then it's entertaining because he doesn't usually give me much feedback on, you know, how it went, how yeah. the, how the video went, but he's feeling really good that you guys will enjoy this one. Thank it was it was fun to edit. And so I know it was fun to edit. Then it's going to be fun to watch. And the post driver will be going back this week. Yes. Well, so Friday. Again. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're, we're pretty much done with it. Yeah. So um, yep. that gives you an idea of what the video is about. It could go back anytime between now and Friday. Yep. But we're not going to take it back to the store because he was a little grouchy. And he might be really mad if I went in there <laughs> at five. If I would only go in there at five o'clock. <laughs> Can't you see us popping in at about five minutes to five and saying, we brought your uh, post driver back, oh, buddy. <laughs> man, he would be furious. 
But we're going to drive it all the way back to Hollywood, Alabama. Oh, man. Just for a road trip because we need a break after putting all these posts in. I don't think I got one of them signs. We go fancy Hollywood. Mm, no, I'm, I'm hoping they got some good ice cream or, <laughs> you know, some good pastry, something. Oh, they got to have some good food. I yeah. don't know. There's got to be something. I know that it's near Fort Payne, Alabama, mm -hmm. which is where the group Alabama was from. Isn't that right? That's correct. Um, do you remember when we went to the chicken show that time in Fort Payne, Alabama, that little little ice cream store we went to? I think it was called Bigfoot for some reason. Man, that place was wonderful. Man. And so I if I can you, find that. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a good place. And I tell you what, Fort Payne is proud. That the group Alabama is from there too, because there's signs everywhere. Everywhere, and I think that's great. I think it's great yeah. too. Um, normally, you don't see things like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. You really don't. To me, you don't. No, I don't know. no. But I will tell y'all what. Pretty soon in Selma, Alabama, it's gonna say home of Gunner Henderson. Yes. Do y'all know who Gunner Henderson is? I'm sure there's some. Baltimore Oriole fans on here. So, Gunnar Henderson is from our hometown of Selma, Alabama. That's right. And he's in the running for Rookie of the Year for baseball. Major League Baseball. He is. He has started out slow this year, but he is caught on fire. He, um, it just, it blows my mind. I'm, I'm not even a, I used to be a huge baseball fan. And but, me too, but times but have changed. Times have changed. And, um, but now... Don't uh, mean we're not a Gunner fan. We, I, I, I check every day as soon as I get up. I got to check the Gunner stats and see what Gunner did. Um, he is on fire. Uh, and it just blows my mind because his grandfather worked with me at the car dealership. That's right. And um, so and my, and I, his grandfather, we, we've worked together for a long time over the years. But um, his grandfather worked for me. And I remember Gunner coming to the dealership. I mean, when he was... You know, a bitty baby, <laughs> small kid, and um, to see him now, you know, just blowing up in the major leagues, um, is just unreal. And I, I hope, I hope Selma does that. Yeah, you would. You, you never would, know, though. One would hope, but yeah. that's that's a prime example. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, Gunner's pretty popular. He's not the group Alabama yet, right? But I don't know. I mean. I like to know when somebody is from a certain. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, it just, I remember things like that. Yeah, I do too. I remember that Alabama, the group yep. Alabama is from yep. Fort Payne, Alabama. Yep. So, you know, make it stick in your head. Yeah. What Probably team? Like. The Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore Orioles. Yep. That's who he plays Number for. two. Number two, he plays yep. shortstop, plays third base. I think he could play any position on the field. He does. He hits one out about every third at bat. <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, he, just he's amazing. unreal. He's Very, unreal. What's, what is awesome about Gunner, and it always has been, he's extremely mature. He's very mature. And he's got great parents and great grandparents. That's right. Yep. He's, um, he's always, you know, yep. his family's tight-knit. Very I don't think that'll family. ever change, and you have to respect them all for, you know, being there yep. when he was nobody and being there with him when he's somebody. Of course, exactly. he's always been somebody, but you know what I mean. Well, you you know good as well as I do. Even, you know, when Gunner was in eighth grade, you know, the whole family would go to the baseball games. Sure, so. sure. And, yeah. and, they, and they do it today, of yep. course, and yep. it's a little bit, you know, um, they, they probably never – in their wildest dreams, imagine they'd be sitting in the stands of the major would? league. <laughs> it's amazing. And oh, be in the running for the rookie of the year. Yes. So yes. He keep on, keeps on swinging that bat like he is. And matter of fact, I looked today and he, he is like, I can't remember who somebody for Arizona Diamondbacks is number one. And I think Gunner's two now. Wow. In the odds to win rookie of the year. And, unreal. And they're unreal. A, they're a family of baseball players. Yeah. There's three boys in Gunner's immediate family. And then he has a cousin that's, you know, up Good there too. too. So mm -hmm. it's just a family full of ballers. It's crazy. it's crazy how that works. 
unreal. He was just as good in football, but he quit football so he wouldn't get hurt yep. to play baseball. He did. Wise decision. He could have went to any division to school and played football, sure. starting quarterback. Sure. Sure could have. But if he had, he sure might have gotten hurt. Yep. Yeah, football is a lot more rough. <laughs> Yes, it is indeed. Oh, man. Uh, Let's see. Um, um, We haven't had any more snakes. I wanted to say that. Okay. Um, No more snakes. Yeah, there hasn't been a a snake. Is your snake tool in here yet, though, is it? It'll be here tomorrow. I'll check today. (laughs) So if the snake comes tomorrow, I got it covered. Just don't come today. Yep. Or either I'm not going to go look today. Did, um, I want you to put it somewhere where you know exactly where it is. So how about right there by the door? So when I head out, I'll know where it is. You can grab it. That'd be the worst thing is a month from now. I don't know where I don't snake know where I put is. it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't be good, would it? <laughs> that wouldn't be good at all. And then I'll have to wait seven days for another one to come in. Yeah. Or I could just go bar Catherine's. But she'll have to be using hers when I go to bar it. Mm. Mm. Oh, y'all, we didn't see the first snake when we were sitting post. We didn't. I mean, it might have saw us, but we didn't see it. We, you know what? Well, I'm not going to say that. We hadn't seen any snakes and we haven't seen any ticks. No, not on us. Not on us. Not on us. And I recently bush hogged down in the bottom. I think I told y'all this on the last live and I saw nothing. Mm-hmm. So it just may be that since we've got the property kind of contained. I think so. That they are staying on the border. I think so. Except for that one that was in the pigeon loft. But when you have eggs and you have birds, you're going to have. Eventually. You're going to have. They're going to find you. Yeah. They're going to find you. No egg from the Victorian. I think it's Mary Carl thinks that it's too late in the season for them to do anything. We wouldn't want them to lay now because. And they stopped building on the new nest. Yeah, they stopped building on the new nest. So I don't know what they want. I do not know. We're going to have to have a conversation, but it's going to be next year. (laughs) Because <laughs> we don't want them to build now. No, not now. It, the baby would Ooh. be too vulnerable to cooler yep. temperatures because they sit for, you know, 30, what, is it 30 days. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking 60 days, but it I don't know. I can't, can't remember. remember. I can't remember. But anyway, no egg this season. Jason is waving <laughs> at the dog. If she waves back. She's trying to fix her bed. She does do that now. She has a, and and I did notice that one on one of her feet, her toenails are semi trim. Yeah, it's crazy. And on one of her feet, they're not. They're like Freddy Krueger. Yeah, it's weird. So I'm not sure if that's from her scratching, or what. But she still is doing a lot of itching. Yeah. Um, and she's on flea prevention. There's no fleas, but she her skin is obviously itching her pretty good, and that's why the vet prescribed the. Omega three in a oil. Okay. To put on our food to try to help with some of that dander and itching and dryness and whatnot. She's gonna get better. Yeah, she's gonna get better. I'm telling y'all, she's gonna sit in my lap on one of these lives and you're gonna be like, Brooke's got another dog. <laughs> Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Um if I could, yeah, if I could have a, a, a rescue. Y'all, I'd pick up every single one I could find because they just, I don't know. I'd pick up all the people too, but you can't do that this day and time. Right. You don't know who's good and bad. That's right. Back when we were little, if you saw somebody that needed help, then you knew they needed help. This day and time, they could be just fishing for a, you know, a way to to get you. That's right. Take mm. you out. That's more right. Like it, not- mm-hmm. Feed her sardines for the omega three. Really? Dogs love them and they're cheap. Huh? I ain't thought about that. Yeah, Gidget gets along. Everybody gets oh, everybody along, gets y'all. Along really. Yeah. It's like um, she just gets out of the way. She will find herself laying under the kitchen table. So n- none of our dogs do that. Mm-mm. And none they're, of them they're all out in the middle of the floor where you got to step over. Egg them. yolks are great for their coats. Huh? Y'all keep it coming. <laughs> I didn't know that. Ah, oh, me. Hmm. Hmm. But she just, she wants to be out of the way. She doesn't cause any trouble. Mm-mm. She's, Nothing. um, what's going on? Guess what we had for lunch? 
What? You forgot? I did. We had turnip greens. Oh, we did have turnip greens. We had turnip greens in Freeze July. Freeze-dried turnip greens. We did. We I, did. I, I forgot I, all about that. I was getting hungry. That's what made me think about it. <laughs> we did. I just added a little Our water to it. freeze-dried turnip greens from the fall. That's right. And I was thinking when we were eating them, I was like, you know what? It won't be long before we be planting these again. That's right. So I don't feel so bad about using them right now. Yep. They were just as good as, as fresh. They cooked. were. Absolutely. Freeze dry. They were delicious. Fresh. I got something to freeze dry for my next video. What is it? I can't tell you. Okay. But I'm <laughs> going to freeze tuned. dry something in my next video. Stay tuned. Something totally different than I've ever done. Okay, cool. I'm ready. I'm totally excited. Totally different. Oh, I'm excited then. It's going to be crunchy. Oh, I'm excited. Everything comes out. It's crunchy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we'll be here Saturday morning. Oh, and also stay tuned because it may be a whole new set. Maybe. We're working on it. We're trying to get that going. We're working on it. And. I do that this afternoon. Might not. Might not. I got to go move the rest of my dirt. Oh, I can work on it. Okay. We'll figure it out. But we will plan to be here Saturday morning. Yes. We don't know what time, but have your have your coffee ready. If right. you order it today, it will be here. It will be at your house, providing you don't live in Scotland <laughs> by Saturday. Right, Ryan? Oh, me. Ryan said he was going to be here today, but I ain't seen Ryan today. I saw him. Oh, did you? Yep. I huh. saw Ryan. I got to get Ryan a picture I can recognize. Ryan the roaster. So y'all keep Ryan busy, too. I was talking about keeping Laura busy. Y'all got to keep Ryan busy. <laughs> that man cannot sit down. Oh, me. It gets antsy when he sits down. Yeah, yeah. he's got to get to work. So y'all order antsy. some of that coffee. It gets antsy when he sits Come down. here. Come here, Didi. I'm going to oh, let Didi me. tell y'all. Oh, you're going to let Didi tell you? Yeah. Michael, hey, my key is going to be Didi's turn this time. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is Didi style. Oh, me. Michael might not know who Didi is yet. Don't okay. Tell him, Didi. Y'all be good.